hello, hello, everyone. Let's talk about it. What is on my mind today? Hmm, a lot. I think I'll really just touch on one thing, though. It's kind of been like the theme stuff I've been seeing. It's just something that's been, you know, I feel the need to talk about. So, um, let me see. What's the topic I want to call this? Stop worrying about what people think and what they say. A lot of times, you know, we're we're in this we're in this you know we you know moving along this journey. Some of us might not know what we're doing, and it's okay. I think a lot of times, you know, parents and and people, you know, they try to you know guide you in the right direction, try to tell you what they feel like you should do. And a lot of times it's hard, it's hard to grasp that because they don't have their stuff together. So it's like, how can somebody who don't have their stuff together tell you what, how to have, what to do with your life? You know, it's kind of like, okay, it's kind of contradiction. So that's just a thing that I've been seeing. And I think a lot of people, they're seeking, they, they're looking for approval from parents, from friends, from relatives, like, there's no need for that. Do what you think is best for you. Either, either it's gonna work or it's not gonna work, and you're gonna learn from it. Every mistake is, is, is something you can learn from. We don't all know it all. We're not gonna always get it right. So stop being so hard on yourself. And stop looking for approvals from people, family, friends, it don't matter. Excuse me, stop looking for that. Because nine times out of 10, if you're not doing what they want you to do, you're not gonna get their approval. If you if you're not doing what they would do, they're not they're not gonna approve it. You're not gonna get that approval. A lot of times people tell you, oh, I wouldn't do that. Oh no, 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 you know, because they don't they wouldn't do it. So they don't want you to do it either. Simple as that. But you live your life for you. Do what you think is best for you. Granted, we all have responsibilities. The majority of us handle your responsibilities. But find a way to also also follow your dreams. Like live your dreams. You can do both. You gotta you gotta know how to manage it. You gotta know how to manage your time. If you have kids, you got responsibilities. Make sure they take care that they're taken care of first. But don't stop pursuing your dreams because somebody doesn't believe in you. Somebody's not patting you on your back or giving you their stamp of approval because you'll be waiting till you die getting somebody else's stamp of approval. A lot of people don't know who they are and they don't want you to know who you are. Sad but true. If you know what you want, just, just keep striving for that. Keep pushing that. Just keep going. Don't stop. Stop looking back and seeing if anybody pat me on your back. Anybody giving you any kind of congratulations. Just know, just keep going. Keep going whether somebody is back there or not. Keep going. A lot of times, that, that's what slows us down. Looking back, looking on the side, seeing how far that person's going. Looking on this side, seeing what that person got. No, no, you got to keep focused. You got to keep going. We're so concerned with people. People out here doing the best that they know how. Some, of, some people not doing nothing. Is they're, they're, they're none of your concern. Your only concern is you. Only person you can control is you. We're so consumed with other people and what they think and what they're going to say. They're going to always have something to say. They're not going to always be in your corner. You got to be your biggest cheerleader. You got to be your biggest fan. You got to be your biggest supporter. Sometimes it is just you. It is just you. And you got to be okay with that. We're so, we just want to be pleased. We want to please people. We want to make people happy. You would just die trying to do those things. This is ridiculous. Make yourself happy. Long as you happy, that's going to spread on everybody else. They're going to be, okay, he be like smiling. Hey, they just going to be smiling. They don't know why they're smiling. It's going to be, this is going to be pouring out. This is going to be pouring out. Because I walk around, I see people walking around looking sad, looking depressed. Don't know why, but they are. I don't want that. So my, my, my biggest thing is to be happy, to do what I love, and to not care about or worry about what the next person is says or thinks because there are people that that's their whole goal their whole job is to make somebody else miserable because they're miserable misery loves company people that are mad that are angry they want to spread that you ever been around one angry person guess what 
whoever, whoever hang around them, whoever their friends are, they all probably angry. Try to be around positive people. And if that's just yourself, then be alone. Because you don't need that, you don't need that kind of energy. That stuff is draining. Having a conversation and trying to please somebody that will never be pleased is just sabotage. It's just draining. We're so consumed with other people that we forget about ourselves. I know I've been there, I've done that. I was so, so head, so head bent on, on, on pleasing somebody else and making somebody else happy. And I forgot about me. I forgot about the most important person is me. You know? We can't make somebody else happy. That you would just you'd be so tired and so drained trying to make somebody else happy. Happiness starts within yourself. You gotta have it already. If you said, oh, I'm you know that this person makes me happy, then what if that person leave? Now you're not happy. That was me. So I started doing things to please myself. I started making myself happy. So whether a person stays or goes, I'm always the same. I'm happy. Another person does not complete me. I'm already a whole person. Another person has added value. And together, we work for a bigger goal. You understand that? A lot of times we put so much into people. And when those people, that person leaves, now we're all broken up. We don't know what to do. All you got to do is understand and realize this right here. And I had to realize this after the fact. You are a whole complete person and you have to work on you. Once you work on yourself and you get to, you get to that point where you're happy and you're complete, you will know how to be with somebody else. And it won't be all this work. Find you another whole person and together y'all can build. It can't be one half and one half because when, when it breaks up, Oh, I can't live. I'm gonna kill myself. I wanna, you know, it, it happens, right? Because we're not we're not happy with ourselves. We're not we're not complete. And when you're incomplete and you're looking to be completed by somebody else, and every time they leave, the cycle will continue. And we wonder why we're going through what we're going through. Once you start working on you and you get to where you need to be, another person, whether they stay or go, is not gonna matter. I promise you it's not. I promise you it's not gonna matter. Once you get to where you need to be, start working on yourself. And you can't work on yourself with somebody else. You got to already be ready. So when they come, they are, hopefully they're just like you, already complete. Because it's hard trying to be with somebody you gotta feel, 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 feel up. Now, now you're empty, trying to make them happy and show them this and teach them that and do this and you're doing everything for them, from, for them and it's taken from you. And now when it comes to you, who's giving you? You know what I'm saying? Like, who, who, who's there for you? Because you done, you done gave all out. Stop giving everybody everything. Work on yourself. Get yourself together. Be already complete. Another person has just added value. It just it is. We put so much on people. And when those people, persons, leave, we don't know what to do. Oh my God, I'm tired of love. Forget love. I don't want to be in love no more. My heart is broken. Oh my God, I can't believe. No, that shouldn't be like that. It should not be like that. You was with somebody that wasn't complete. You was with somebody that wasn't whole. And you filled yourself with them. And now you're empty. And they're over there. They're over there full. They, they, you done upgraded them for the next person. Now they, 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 they you know, possibly could be the best, best person for somebody else. So get, be already complete. Find you somebody that's already, hopefully that person find you. Y'all both, y'all both two complete people. 